U.S. warplanes have carried out more than 100 airstrikes in northern Iraq in the last three weeks. And now officials are talking openly of expanding the mission against the Islamic State forces into Syria. On Monday, the Pentagon said it began surveillance flights above Syria, a necessary precursor to airstrikes. And today, the New York Times reported the Obama administration is building a coalition of nations to support just that step. Presidential Press Secretary Josh Earnest addressed the question at today's Happy White House briefing. I know that there are some headlines in the paper today that, that would lead some to believe that uh, the United States has begun a new diplomatic effort uh, in pursuit of this one goal. The fact is this, is, this element of our strategy is something that we've communicated uh, on multiple occasions. Uh, and will continue to be a critical part uh, of whatever success we have. There was also talk of launching a new humanitarian mission in northern Iraq. It was widely reported the focus of possible U.S. action has shifted to the town of Amerli, where thousands of Shiite Turkmen are under siege by Islamic State militants. The Iraqi military evacuated a group of terrified women and children from the area on Monday. And the United Nations mission in Iraq is calling for urgent action. Again, White House spokesman Josh Earnest. This is the kind of situation that the president has ordered military action in support of in the past. Uh, and uh, this particular situation is one that the president and his national security team continues to watch very closely. There are fears the Turkmen could fall victim to the same atrocities visited on others considered infidels by Islamic State fighters. The UN today accused the group of widespread war crimes in Iraq and Syria, including amputations and public executions. At the same time, UN investigators voiced concern that boys forced into Islamic State training camps in Syria could be hit by any U.S. airstrikes.